the just transition, a term that's definition is still in the making. We speak to lead thematic negotiator from Vanuatu and PSID's coordinator, Anthony Ngrailu, to give us an indication of what the just transition means for the Pacific. In terms of just transition, while um, there's yet to be a defined definition for just transition, but I think from a layman's perspective, from a personal note, I would say just transition for the SITS context, species context is all around transitioning out from fossil fuel into uh, renewable energy based generation. However, um, this is not limited to technical aspect of it as well, but it should be inclusive, it should be a holistic approach. We look at the financing aspect of it, um, the workforce, the social and economic development aspiration, but as overall I would say it's, uh, it should, the just transition pathway should cover all aspects of the sustainable development goals, the SDG goals. In terms of what we expect out from COP28 is small island development states, given that we are the most vulnerable islands or vulnerable countries that is mostly affected. I think for the just transition, especially the work program itself, we expect a clear scope and objectives which would frame uh, the output that we expect. And uh, in terms for us, the Pacific Islands, uh, we want this just transition to, and it should be backed with both technical and financial support, which is critical for us given not only our limited uh, capacity, but also in terms of our human resources availability. Pretty tough over the last two weeks, uh, negotiating between the developing and the developed countries. Wednesday, uh, there's no conversion in terms of the views, in terms of what we want for the just transition. I would say there's no final text that has been submitted, so it's now up to the leaders. Uh, all the draft uh, text has been diverted for the leaders to dwell on with what's been left from the technical negotiations. All the texts are being bracketed and now it's up to the political leaders to decide on the way forward. This is Madeva Cameron reporting for Pacifica TV.